It's been used as an afro YouTube. My name is Chad, welcome back to another episode of Skyline Smoke Lens. And today we talk about title video. Today we're going to be doing the best weed alternatives, okay? So today we're going to be going over five herbs, five plants that I believe are my personal favorite alternatives for smoking weeds, for smoking cannabis, okay? As always, this isn't the best of all time. This isn't our top five of all time. This is my top five, okay? So if you guys have different alternatives that you think is better or that you enjoy, please put it in the comments. I think that'd be cool for other people to see what other people think. I think we all come from different walks and have different experience with different plants. So I think that'd be awesome if you guys share your own opinion, okay? So I, I'm quite excited. Uh, for you guys to know, I, I used to smoke cannabis a lot. Um, I used to smoke it almost every day for, for a couple of years, you know, but I don't really smoke it too much anymore. Um, it's not really as fun. I pretty much I just smoke herbs every day now, honestly. Um, honestly, you know, it was it was smoking cannabis. That's obviously where I started. How I started smoking, and it kind of led me on this journey of herbs. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, I I think I'll go into that story another day. I think it, I think it's a fun story about how I got into the herbs and my journey and whatnot. But um, let's do it, man. If you're your first time to the channel, welcome. On uh, on this channel, we do herbal reviews. Top five list, smoke reviews, mostly, right? It's all about smokable herbs on this channel. So, uh, welcome. And uh, stay tuned, man. Let's do it. So, the first herb that we're going to be talking about as one of my favorite alternatives to marijuana, weed, cannabis, is going to be Damiana. Okay, if you're familiar with Damiana, I have a, a review on Damiana on my channel. You can check it out right there, right there. Maybe there or there. We'll see. Um, so, a little, little thing. It's a, it's a shrub. It's a psychedelic shrub. Okay. That's native to Mexico and Central America, okay? The Aztecs used it to, you know, treat impotence. They used it as an aphrodisiac. Um, they used it for quite a lot of things in traditional medicine. And believe it or not, when you smoke it, because it does have mild psycho psychoactive properties, uh, the way I, I would describe the experience is that it, it, you, you, get, you get like a buzz. You definitely get a buzz when you smoke it. Uh, it is relaxing, but I also feel like it brings you up. Um, it's interesting. It, it's, it is described as a as a stimulant, right? Which is interesting. But even though it's described as a stimulant, there are also people who use it at nighttime to help them sleep. Okay, so it's something you need to experiment with, right? Um, they also say that when you smoke it, it, it can help give you dreams, but pleasant dreams. Okay, so I, that's a little interesting. To give you a little overview of, of the of the plant, right? Uh, it, it's personally, I find it to be um, a very it's a very fine plant. Like some plants are, like you, know, you like flower petals, and they're they're kind of times they can be a little hard to roll. Damiana, it almost has a similar, cause it's almost like a similar consistency to weed too. It looks like weed too, if we just funnily enough. Um, so it's a very good base herb in that sense. If you wanted to mix it up with other smoke blends, smoke it by itself. And one thing I want to mention, guys, all, all the plants I'm going to mention today too. These are all plants that are also really good to mix with weed. If you don't want to stop smoking weed, these are all good plants to mix with weed, right? So keep that in mind too. All right. So the next plant, okay, it's going to be a twofer, the next plant. It's going to be talking about wild daga slash clip daga, okay, because they're very similar plants. They have very similar um, chemistry or e ecology, I believe the correct term is. They are different. What makes wild daga and clip daga different, they have the same flower petals, but their leaves are very different. That's pretty much makes them different. They both have the same um, chemical compound that makes them mildly psychoactive, which is uh, leonorine, okay. There are people who say that wild daga is more potent than club daga but there's no real research to say which one's more potent than the other because club daga actually does have more leonorine than wild daga so based on that i, I would say that club daga is more potent like i said there's, there's no real scientific research to say which one's more potent they're very similar plants you i don't think you can go wrong smoking either uh, either one um the word daga actually comes from a a South African word, I can't pronounce it, unfortunately, but it's like a rough translation of cannabis. So people actually call it wild cannabis, which is quite interesting. Um, it's 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 a, it's a really beautiful herb. Um, I, I smoke the petals, right? Let me show you guys. Just get an idea, right? These are what the flower petals look like. They're nice orange, they're fluffy. 
They're quite beautiful, you know. One thing too. I have the Clip Daga, actually one of my blends, the Skyline Special. The Skyline Special is actually a blend. I'm actually smoking it right now, funny enough. The blend of Blue Lotus, Club Daga, and Damiana. All different like those mild psychoactive herbs I mixed together. That's a blend that I like to use and I like to um give to people when they when they're looking for like a a blend that's a marijuana substitute. That's what I find for them. I'm actually smoking right now and like I feel nice and calm. It go like I said, I have a review on the on the blend, but it gives me like a nice like a nice space in this feeling, which is quite nice. It's I would say it's calming but also euphoric. And uh, it's a nice experience, okay? I can go all day about it. But that's, that's a good segue to the next plant I'm going to be talking about, which is one of my favorite plants. It's, I would say, it's the most popular plant in the alternative in the alternative smoking space community. It's blue lotus. You know, Egyptian blue lotus, blue water lily, however you want to say it. Um, I have so many so many reviews about that on, on my channel. You have some right here, right? Yeah. So... What blue lotus is? It's it's a it's a herb, the plant, not herb, it's a lily, um, native to ancient Egypt, but also also Asia as well, and pretty much it is. It's also mildly psychoactive. Okay, it has two chemical compounds. The first one being apomorphine, and apomorphine when you smoke it, it gives you the feeling of euphoria, and then you have nuciferine, and nuciferine calms you down. So you have these two compounds in this plant that one of them makes you euphoric, and the other one makes you calm. So when you smoke it, it brings, it's such a nice experience. Like, it's just such, you know, it's euphoric and calming, you know, that's such a, such a beautiful mesh, you know, and it, it's, it's honestly a beautiful flower. I usually have it right next to me. Not sure where I put it. I apologize for that one, guys, but it's honestly just, it's such a great plant. Like I said, I have it in the Sky Special. He's the Blue Lotus, the Damiana, and Club Daga. It's a beautiful plant. Um, Blue Lotus, a little bit more to guys get an idea from it. Blue Lotus is also considered an aphrodisiac. That's how the ancient Egyptians used. They used it in many different ways. They used it in rituals. They used to um, soak blue lotus in wine, and then when they drink the wine at their parties, they would have like crazy orgies. It's like, it's like depicted in their in their art, um, the hieroglyphics and whatnot. Um, it, it's 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 a nice plant. It really is. Oh, I think it went out. Unfortunate. Brings me next to the number four, okay? So number four, we are going to talk about wild lettuce, okay? Now, I also, I also, have, a, I also have a review on this channel over about wild lettuce. Now, wild lettuce is, is an interesting one, okay? I'm going to tell you why. So with wild lettuce, the, the experience you're going to get when you smoke wild lettuce is it, it, it is considered to be like a natural opium, okay? So it's actually used as a, as a pain reliever, right? So... When you drink it into a tea or you smoke it, you, you, you in it's de, um, it's not inflammatory, it's deflammatory. So it's going to help reduce inflammation, going to help reduce pain. Um, and because it's an opium, it's going to really calm you down, right? It's going to really calm you down. There, ha there are some, there are some people that say that it gives you, it can, it can give you audio hallucinations. I personally have never had that experience. I've had audio hallucinations when I've smoked cannabis. But I've never had audio hallucinations when I smoke wild lettuce. But it's, it is something to be mindful of. It is uh, interesting, I would say. That's nice. That's quite nice. You know, um, the way I have the pre-rolls now is, um, you know, I see most people when they do pre-rolls, they do like regular raw papers, regular joint papers. Um, this is actually a, a cigarette style. Um, cigarette style. So you see the tube has like a, a cigarette style filter and even the paper it's it's hemp this is 100 percent hemp but it's like a, it's it's a cigarette style which um i find that uh i find the joint papers um they burn a lot quicker and this is a lot more of a slower experience it burns a lot it's a slow burn right but um it's quite nice so the wild lettuce is definitely up there on the list personally um uh, and number five number five is going to be your favorite it's going to be your alternative it's going to be your favorite plant it's going to be your favorite blend maybe what i mean by that is you know if, if you are looking for a an alternative to smoking weed and you're looking for a different plant herbs to smoke 
at the end of the day, it's about what, what works best for you, okay? If you're somebody who, you know, likes indicas and you, you, you smoke more because, you know, maybe it's like you want to just relax, maybe you have anxiety, it helps calm your anxiety, then then I would say, oh, well, want, I would push you towards lavender and chamomile and herbs like and herbs that are considered nervines that are kind of calm down your nervous system. If you're looking for something that's more, that's going to, you know, bring you up, right? Maybe stimulate you. I would say go for a Damiana, right? But at the end of the day, um, it's all about experimenting, right? Experimenting safely, of course. And I'm not a doctor or anything. I, these videos are, are for informational purposes. Um, Cause you know, there's so, there's so many things you can smoke, you know, I, I really right here, for example, I, I have some rose petals. These rose petals could be an alternative to marijuana, right? If, if, if this is what you like to smoke and this helps you, right? So there, there's really no true answer. That, that's why I said like, I share, 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 share your experiences, share what helped you or share what herbs you like to smoke, right? Because we all come different walks of life, we all have different experiences and you know, that's why I feel like the, it was, I really wanted to say that, um, you know, but like I said, I have these first four orbs we talked about, Damiana, Wild Daga, Clip Daga, I was the two first, maybe I did do five, technically, right, um, and the Blue Lotus and the Wild Lettuce, personally, like, I love Blue Lotus, I love Damiana, those are some of my, just my favorite herbs in general, plants, I'd like to call them, um, definitely check those out, I, like I said, I, I have crafted a blend that I, I, that for when people ask me if, if I have anything for a substitute for marijuana, um, it's the Skyline Special. I'll link it in the description. I'll link it in the comments. You guys can check it out if you like. And I've had people tell me after they smoke it, oh, you know, I smoke marijuana. I'm trying to stop because they say, you know, well, people, I guess you guys know, a lot of people, they, they stop smoking because they either join the military or it's, or it's a job. It's always the military or the job. And they always ask me, well, I fail a drug test if I smoke this. Well, I always say every drug test is different, but I also, also say you're not going to pop for THC off of small smoking herbs. If that's answered your question. Um, and I've gotten really good stuff. You know, I've gotten great things. People saying that they love Michigan the Skyline Special with cannabis and they love smoking the Skyline Special. Just they like smoking it. They say that, it, you know, it's, a nice, it's, 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 it's an alternative, you know. At the end of the day, if you want to get, if you want to, smoke and get the experience of smoking weed and get the experience of cannabis well then smoke cannabis right you know what i'm saying there's never going to be a true one-to-one -one substitute but you know i think different herbs have different have different strengths right and if your favorite strength of smoking cannabis is like relaxation anxiety then yeah smoke lavender smoke chamomile smoke skullcap smoke passion flower right that makes sense i hope that makes sense um Guy, yeah, I think I think that's it. I I, I like the list today. Um, this is a fun video because it, it, it's a question I get a lot personally. You know, um, guys, you know, if you guys want to like to follow me on Instagram, I take DMs there, so you're more than welcome to ask me any questions regarding herbs or whatnot. I'll be more than happy to answer you. I also post a lot more content. I post almost every day on Instagram, so um, it's a really good way to keep up to date with everything I'm doing. I have some fun announcements because next month I'm actually going and I'm doing like four events, four or five events next month in person in the New York, New Jersey area. So. If you guys, I, I, I still haven't met anybody from the YouTube channel um, that goes to any of these events. I'd love to meet somebody. That'd be really fun. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So like I said, if you guys are interested in this guy special, I'll have it, I'll have it linked in the description below. Whoops, whoop, I almost dropped the, the cig, the herbal cigarette, right? Um, that's pretty much it, guys, okay? Thank you once again. I always appreciate you guys. And this is Chaz with Skyline Smoking Blends, and I'm signing up. Peace.